Hi guys, how are you? This is Lois. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're safe and well wherever you are. Today is that day. I promised this video because over the weekend I did a video on a provincial nomination program in Manitoba. And this video now is there to tell you why you should be looking at Manitoba among all the 10 provinces of Canada and three territories. So why should you immigrate to Manitoba or, uh, you know, so I've said that uh, whenever you're preparing to come to Canada, you need to look at where you want to settle. That is a big decision that you need to make because where you land is going to determine your rate of success. So. These are some of the things that you need to look at uh, when you're looking. Where do you want to live? Where do you want to settle? Because again, most of the time you do not want to come here and start moving around. You would want to just arrive and make that place home if that is possible. That is the goal of many immigrants. But if it doesn't work, Canada is a free country. You can always move around. Okay? So why should you be looking at Manitoba? Manitoba is... Uh, is one of the prairie provinces in Canada uh, whose capital is Winnipeg and Manitoba is of course in central Canada and it's bordered by Saskatchewan to the west, Ontario to the east, Nunavut to the north and South Dakota United States to the south. So the size of this province is our uh, that is population size that is 1.3 six nine million people according to the 2019 statistics this is a province of uh, natural beauty and rich cultural history and we shall be seeing more about that uh, so i just want to mention that uh, manitoba is highly overlooked by immigrants who chase the big province appeal so a lot of people are always looking to go to you know Ontario, British Columbia or Alberta and therefore they make this place you know Canada's hidden secret because this is one of the provinces that you should be looking at as an immigrant and we shall see why. Uh, I think I've been mentioning a little bit why you should be moving here but let us see one of the reasons you should be moving here is because Every year, Manitoba attracts about 15,000 immigrants from all over the world. 15,000 people move here. And uh, these people do really succeed. How do you measure success for immigrants? This is not like the real benchmark, you know, it's not written on stone, but this should be able to guide you to see just how well an immigrant is doing once they move here. And, you know, it's the same as, you know, when you're in your country and you move from one city to another, how soon are you able to establish? So let us see this for Manitoba. So 85% of the people who move here succeed in this province. And newcomers are able to find work within three months of arrival. Remember, we've said always bring in some money, which should be cushioned for you because it could be a month, two or three before you get yourself a job. So in Manitoba, majority of these people uh, find jobs within three months of arrival. Then 75% of these people who immigrate to Manitoba become homeowners within the first five years of their immigration. Remember, not everybody wants to buy a house. There are people who just don't want to buy houses. They don't want to deal with mortgages. They are okay renting. Uh, so this is a really good indicator when you hear that 75% of these people become homeowners, okay, within five years. And 95% of the immigrants who move to Manitoba, they settle there permanently. They don't move around. So there's only a very small percentage of people who leave Manitoba after they get there. So most likely they move for a job or they get married. You know, you never know. But this is a really good indicator that this is a good province to settle down. Okay. Uh, how do people come to Manitoba? Majority of the immigrants come here through their provincial nomination programs because Manitoba has some of the best uh, provincial nomination programs. And we're going to see that these provincial nomination programs, they are driven by mainly three 
factors, education, skills, and connection to the community. Yes, without a connection to the community, uh, whether that is family, whether you've studied there, or whether you've worked there uh, in the past, it's hard to move to Manitoba through their provincial nomination program. So uh, that is why you find, because of that connection, especially families and friends, uh, those kind of connections, they make sure that they are attracting people who know each other, you know, family members, sisters and brothers. So you're going to find that people do have a lot of their families in Manitoba, which is really good for community, for bringing up families for stability, okay? So other people also come through family sponsorships. Of course, you know, that is either spouse or parental or child sponsorships. So you see also that focuses on the family, on the community setup. Okay, all right. Uh, so I tell people every time you want to look at immigrating here and maybe you have a goal for coming here with a lot of your family members, maybe you want to settle in a place like Manitoba because once you're there, you are the first person to establish roots there. It's going to be very easy for you to be able to bring your relatives, not sponsor them, but support their applications as long as they are educated and they have skill sets. Okay, so go for it, go for it. You can always be the torchbearer. Come here and help bring your relatives who are interested to come with you. Okay, all right. So what is the main economic drive for Manitoba? The main economic drive here is mining, oil and gas, energy, uh, forestry and infrastructure. You're going to find that Manitoba has one of Canada's strongest and the most diversified economies. Uh, you're going to realize that uh, one other drive here is the cost of living, which is very low compared to the other provinces in Canada. And there's a lot of opportunities for work, study, or even starting a business. It has friendly cities and we shall be seeing the cities whereby you should be looking at to live when you move to Manitoba. Okay, so we said that the capital city is Winnipeg. Winnipeg has a population of about 750 people. Uh, Winnipeg has a lot of employment uh, and education opportunities. You're going to see that Winnipeg is a top choice of immigrants after Toronto, Calgary and Vancouver. Uh, it has more affordable homes and has better work-life balance. It has better social support uh, and it emphasizes on real connection. So Winnipeg is a really good place to go live and connect with the community. Okay, so as said again, uh, Manitoba is quite highly uh, overlooked as you've seen, as you've heard. So. Uh, on the cost of living, I just want to go back there with the cost of living. You're going to find that uh, it's the second uh, the cost of living is the second greatest appeal after the PNP uh, that we just talked about. The cost of living is the second greatest appeal. So if you have good salaries and uh, you have lower cost of living, then you're going to find that your dollar takes you further and like uh, some of the other provinces. I just want to say this, you know, as economic immigrants, most of us, uh, as much as we want to move for quality of life, you know, a progressive, a progressive society, you know, a, a democracy and all these good things that we find in this country, money is always a factor, a driving factor. So you want to be able to, you know, to not just work, work, work. You want to be able to work and save some money. So this is a good place to do that simply because uh, your dollar takes you more because of their uh, low cost of living. So everything is cheaper in this place uh, from transportation, utilities, childcare, groceries, uh, rent actually is 8% cheaper uh, in, 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 in Manitoba than in Calgary. Okay. So the average family home in Winnipeg, uh, if you want to buy a home, the average income home is about $320,000. That is according to the statistics of 2019. Okay. All right. So we say that Manitoba is one of the most beautiful provinces because it's full of lakes and rivers and mountains and prairies 
and it is so beautiful like really 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 beautiful okay so what is manitoba known for i know you're asking yourself that because of course you want to move here what is it known for it is known as one it's known as the polar bear capital you know and this is one of the biggest attractions so when you go north to hudson bay and churchill you're going to find that there's uh, a lot of polar bears there and actually in churchill they even have polar bear um uh, uh roaming the streets they have you you gotta be careful because they have polar bear uh, roaming the, the streets and they do have jails for polar bears yes i want to go to churchill i haven't been able to go to churchill yet i am going to manitoba soon but i have i still won't make it to churchill because of the travel restrictions we have the day that i go there i'll make sure i give you a clip uh also manitoba has beautiful lakes it's known for the beautiful lakes so this is for your outdoor self if you like life in the waters you know at the lakes you want to explore nature manitoba is a place for you it has world-class museums it has unique festivals and guess what winnipeg has the royal canadian mint i know we have another royal canadian mint in ottawa that i've been to i haven't i haven't been to this one but majority of the coins in this world like 70 countries use uh, this uh, particular facility to manufacture uh, their coins 70 per 70 countries all over the world use the royal canadian mint to manufacture their coins isn't that a cool thing <laughs> and then the other attraction is northern lights yes if you want to see northern lights dancing over winter skies manitoba is the place for you to come watch winter li uh, northern lights guess what you don't need to go to dubai to see a desert okay i know dubai has one of the biggest deserts that you still want to experience but we still have some deserts here in canada and uh, manitoba has one that is called the spirit sands within the spruce woods provincial park okay this place has sand dunes that tower 30 meters over the prairies yes so that is such a spectacle uh so we said that um there are places that you want to live in okay uh outside of winnipeg uh there are a few other cities like brandon so brandon is the second uh biggest city after winnipeg and this uh brandon i know i've talked about brandon briefly when i talked about the rural northern immigration pilot so they have an immigration pilot program specifically for brandon uh then we have nipawa which is manitoba's most beautiful little town yes so you want to go there just the way we have banff here in alberta uh these guys have knee power and then uh they have springfield that is one of manitoba's largest rural community and uh there's another one called minedosa i know it rhymes with minnesota but this is minedosa <laughs> this is known as uh, manitoba's valley paradise so this is like uh, the largest lake town so you want to go there if you want to experience life in manitoba i just want to tell you this the weather in manitoba it gets very cold in winter yes it gets cold in winter it gets hot in summer about taxation uh it's not as low as alberta they have moderate tax uh so for sales you're going to pay sales tax uh that is you're going to pay gst five percent and you will pay provincial sales tax of eight percent so yeah so th that is those are the main reasons that you want to immigrate here and especially for immigrants when you're looking at the big picture i just want to mention something about the provincial uh, provincial programs because every province has many streams and manitoba is not left behind excuse me so it has three main streams of immigration then it has and you know sub streams <laughs> under those streams so the main uh, the main three are the business investor stream there is another one uh, international education stream and then there's the skilled worker stream so you're going to find that there are various uh sub streams under these streams so you should be looking at this i will be exploring more on the, uh, on various programs that you can use to immigrate to to manitoba but i just want to leave that here 
And while I wind up, I want to encourage you because I said one of the main reasons that people immigrate here is because of their provincial nomination programs that help you invite a lot of your family members. So this is a good place when you're looking at the big broad picture. And we've heard that this is a beautiful place to stay, to raise a family, to thrive. So thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, my next video is going to be on um, uh, careers, you know, careers in demand, occupations in demand in Manitoba. That is the next video that is coming up this weekend. Until then, see you. Take care.